Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 5 of Darwell20's Let's Play of all the mods, 7, Into the Sky. Hanging out, keeping an eye on, are you full? Yes, good, cool. Uh, so, between episodes I did a quick little bit of just plopping down a fluid pipe here so that we can get a bunch of obsidian, which will make our lives a little bit easier going forward. Uh, Basically, didn't do a lot. Expanded the platform a little bit with some stone bricks, which I think looks pretty nice. Uh, have a lot of metals here that we need to store in some kind of uh, drawer. Whether that's a compacting drawer or not, I have yet to decide. How, how complex is a compacting drawer? Uh, let's see. Uh, just smooth stone and pistons. We can pull that off. Uh, we could probably do compacting drawers for metals. What do you think? Good idea? I think we're going to... Wow, I have 68 diamonds? That's awesome. That's awesome. Look how much stuff I've got. I've got a lot of stuff. Uh, you know what? Once you get to the emerald mesh and the diamond upgrade, you process things pretty quickly. My problem is it's taking forever and a year, plus seven, to get anywhere near enough resources, you know, or, or, or processing of metals. Like, that's just what's taking the longest. So we're going to have to figure that out a little bit at some point. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do about that, but as you can see, I've been kind of cleaning up my inventory, straightened out some things, you know, put away some junk, shifted it around, got things nice and neat. Now what I want to do is probably rearrange, because we've kind of like, you know, taken advantage of the fact that we have this tiny little space, but now we need to spread out a little bit. So what I think I'm going to do, I haven't quite envisioned yet how my area is going to look, but I'd want to shuffle everything around. Um, Basically, I might want to put, like, maybe my resources over here along this corner. Um, so move everything from there over to here. I'm probably going to want processing to be relatively nearby to it. Uh, so maybe along this back corner here can be kind of like the processing line. Uh, which means we're going to maybe want to have a basement. Maybe to, to set up our, our lava gen and power gen stuff. That would be cool. So like a, a sub-level where we can have that stuff going on. A little bit out of sight, out of mind kind of deal. Um, and then from there, rearrange some of this stuff. I might want to get into mechanism today, uh, cause that was the other path that we could have taken. You could say I've been, uh, poking around in some of the, the quests here, but pop it into mechanism might not be a bad idea. Um, ooh, yeah, that's what's up. You know it. Um, so that's probably where I'm going to want to be today is, is, is delving into this stuff. Um, so that'll be cool. And then, uh, yeah, so let's start shuffling stuff around. So I'm going to move all these things, which means I want to rearrange. Let me get my this stuff out because we're probably going to want to rearrange these things. And that means getting rid of you. And you. Sweet. You guys can all stay. Um, this was really all I had by way of stuff. And as you can see, I've got pretty much everything cleared out except... Nether wart is, is the one resource that we're generating so far from our sieve that I haven't thrown in here. Uh, we'll probably add that as well today. So let's get things rearranged and then go from there. Should I start by building the platform underneath? That seems like a good idea. Let's do this and this. That should be cool. And I might want a few more stacks of this stuff. That should fit. As you can see, we're getting kind of full here, uh, which is going to be a little bit of a problem soon. Uh, do I have the resources at this point to make a building gadget? Probably yes. Uh, so we have a charging gadget station, so that's cool and doable. Uh, I could probably make a building gadget. Yeah, that might make my life a little bit easier. Yeah, let's go building gadget. I think that should be cool. Combined with the charging station, that might be neat. I don't think we have an RF way to charge right now, but we could charge it with coal with the charging station and that'll get us going, right? Um, so let me just grab a little bit of this and some of this and this and this. I think that's mostly what I need. Right, so charging station, good. Building gadget and two diamonds. Hooray, task completed, charging gadget, building gadget, yay. Uh, so charging station will let me charge my building gadget. So speaking of coal, whoop. for now I'm just going to stick this over in the corner and start charging it up. Nice. That's pretty cool. And if you want to, don't be afraid to tick accelerate. 
it's always a good time. Building gadget makes it nice and easy to, to build downwards, by the way. Because uh, what you can do... Uh, that's right, I need to change some hotkey options. Um, let's see, keybinds. F is usually where I have uh, my gadget stuff. So let's see. Uh, settings menu F. Anchor, I usually go with G. And that should be all I really need to do And U is undo. What do we got going on with G right now? Key G. Open and close Curios inventory. Uh, hover mode with jetpacks. Uh, we might need to change that up. Okay, that's cool. And how about H? Anything going on with uh, H or U for that matter? Just undo at the moment and show uses in JEI. That's fine. All right, so now I should be able to do this. So with a vertical wall um, and vertical column is actually what I want. So you'll notice when you place it on top of the block, it's going to do that. But if I face the side of a block, it'll go up and down and split it. So it'll be, you know, three up and three down. So if I go like 13 and place that, that should be pretty cool, right? And then a little bit of build to me action. Now, very important question for this pack to determine whether I'm going to really enjoy it or not or if I have to add another mod. Are there elevators? Yay, there are. Okay, cool. So that makes life pretty easy. Uh, I just need a bunch of string, like, actually a bunch of string. More than I probably have at the moment, but we can get more shortly. Um, let's get another crook. Is there, like, stone crooks? Oh, you need pebbles. Wow, inventory, you are full. There we go. And that should get us a crook. Nice. Okay, that should work. And then some of you guys. All right, give that a minute to do its thing. And then probably we'll have enough string from that to make two elevators. Uh, and as a reminder, uh, we can totally, oh, and by the way, I should be able to that and put all that junk away. Nice. Uh, we can totally probably trash this guy now. Well, I'll just use him up in a second. Um, one thing we can do, completely lost my train of thought there. Not even going to lie. What was I saying? Hmm. Oh yeah, we can make two ender pearls with these guys and that's what we'll use to make our elevators neat sweet okay so that is a lot of string Is that it for wool? Nice. Actually, I probably did have enough string, but whatever. Doesn't hurt. And then two elevators. And we're good to go. Nice. All right, let's let's uh, let's figure out where we want to put these elevators. First off, let's pop down here. Uh, using the gadget, we will go horizontal wall mode. Make sure you're not placing on top. And... Well, you know what? Maybe I'll do horizontal column. And then horizontal wall. Well, maybe I want my horizontal column to go out this way. I want to be a little bit careful about this. Let's bring that range down. That should be cool. Okay. And then I'll stick my elevator. Eh, it's probably not a good place for the elevator. Hooray! 
Okay, that works. I like it. All right, now let's get ourselves a little bit more. Perfect. And then we can do a little bit more of this. Cool. And maybe a little bit wider out here. Sweet. All right, that works. That looks good to me. It's a good starting point, at least. And then what I'm going to do is move this whole contraption down there. Um, we'll probably still wind up having these bits up top, but we'll have the power running up to them rather than behind them, if that makes sense. Um, now, obviously, the flux sieve and some of that stuff requires a little bit of shenanigans, but we'll make it work. We'll figure it out. Should be fine. Okay, so let's rearrange this stuff. I'm going to borrow this water for a sec. No longer necessary. Clean all of this up. And if you notice in my inventory, I happen to have somewhere in here. Where did I put it? I made something. Where did I, where did I, where did it, what? What did I do with it? What did I do with it? There it is, superheating elements. I don't know how they got in there, but I made two superheating elements between the episodes so that, um, you know, that would be ready to go. We're probably just gonna start with three of these down there, um, and then we'll expand later. So we don't need, what's nice is we don't need the campfires anymore, which means no more campfire noises, which I welcome. Sweet. So no more campfire noises is always a plus. Um, take all you guys. Okay, getting kind of full. I call this my tools chest because that's what it happens to be at the moment. I don't think I need a watering can. Oh, you don't stack, rip. Mm-hmm. I'll put this extra food away. You can go away for the moment. That should be pretty good. Okay, cool. All right, so down here is where we'll likely have kind of a setup for um, the, the heat exchangers and all that stuff. So do I want the heat exchangers in the ground? I have a magnet, so it shouldn't hurt to place them in the ground, so I'm going to say yes. So here's our three heat exchangers, or superheating element dudes, right? Then we'll have the three fired crucibles sitting on top. Um, I'll store this extra fired crucible for later, when and if we get low on, on stuff. Uh, we're going to want to have the... Did I get the, the... I didn't grab it yet. Okay, my bad. I was like, where's my cobble gen and drawer? In my mind, I picked them up. That's not always reality. He learned. Okay, and then you can become a pipe wrench, and then you guys should start filling up, and you will rapidly turn into, co into, into lava, which really should supercharge our lava production right now, which will be cool, right? Um, and then how about facing upwards? Would that be cool? So we might want a few more fluid pipes. Do we have some more up here? Do I have any pipes pipes stored somewhere? I do. Sweet, yeah, we're gonna need all them. I didn't wanna do that. Uh, restriction, none. Okay, extract, extract, extract. Sweet. 
That's pretty cool, right? I like that. So you guys should be producing a pretty ridiculous amount of lava with heat 60. Um, if it, you know, comes out that I need more than that, we'll make it happen. Cool. Yeah, you guys are getting nice and full. Beautiful. All right, and then we can run some energy pipes. Boop, 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 boop. Straight up to, let's say, here. Cool. And this is where our machines will be. So we'll start relocating some of these things. How are you doing with the uh, junk in your inventory? Quite a bit, actually. Quite a bit, actually. Uh, let's move... this away beautiful that magnet is the tops so how do we want to handle this do we want this to be the same kind of format it was before um with the flux capacitor com compactor on top might not be a bad idea really we have all this junk in here I guess so. Oh, you know what? Yeah, because I didn't... Uh, I, I stopped giving it power. I stopped giving it power. Okay, that's fine. Sweet. And then you're happy? Cool. And then uh, I wouldn't mind being able to move this, but I don't think that's going to be easy. So maybe I just put you on split mode. Did you retain your inputs and outputs? No. Okay, so it loses that when you break it, FYI. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Just noting that it happened. Just a note. Hey, that happens. Okay. Uh, so you push to the bottom, right? I wonder. Hmm. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the hammer here with a chest. I should probably just make a new chest. That's probably the best way to go. Okay, and that's where the hammer will live. And then um, for the sieve, how should I do the sieve? So the sieve outputs to the bottom, right? The sieve outputs to the bottom. So realistically, what I should be doing is I'm just gonna put some stuff away here because my inventory is getting noticeably full. Um, how about this is where the sieve goes, right? Kind of like we had it over there. This is where the hammer can go because the hammer pushes out to the front, right? Yeah, I like that. All right, so then there's the hammer. He pushes out to the front. The sieve sieves to the bottom, okay? Um, what I'd like to know is what happened to my upgrade. There it is. I was like, please don't void that upgrade. It was expensive. Okay. And this barrel is for making obsidian, which we can get back to in the basement. Uh, what we'll probably want to have is... We could put the, power, the barrel here, and that'll fill up nice and quick. This should work. Cool. And let's do this. I'll put the barrel here. 
we will disable you. And these can be item pipes with extract going on. Cool. And you should be getting obsidian now. Cool? I like that. All right? Isn't that great? And that's a healthy obsidian maker. Plus, the lava is going to go in here as well. So that should all be good. I think this is a thunderstorm, so I can sleep through it. Hooray. Yep. Accurate. All right, so that looks really good. Uh, now we're going to want to relocate this chest, the input for you. So that's just going to be you guys, right? And then you're going to have an output, which I think could be this, right? So you're going to output on top, input on left. I think we had an input here. And that's cool. Should be. I have an ax. Might as well use it. One of the few times I have an ax on me. Auto output on. And you can just... I guess what I'll do is just have you push, right? That should be fine. Bueller? Anyone? Where did it go? Well, that's not good. Uh, what if I had you auto input on? Is that weird? Did it just void? I feel like it just voided those. Interesting. Yeah, he pushed into the Golden Furnace, and the Golden Furnace somehow voided them. Unless it went into another slot or something, but I don't know. Weird, right? Totally weird. Totally weird. Well, I mean, we want auto input on anyway to feed in from here for our cobble, right? Because that does that. So that should be, you know, but still weird. All right, uh, now for you, because you're going to be a mess. Okay, so flux compressor can sit on top of you. Awesome. And then you just get a little smidge of power. Perfect. Now we need to set up our drawers, and I'm thinking maybe... So if this is going to be... Is this where processing is going to live, or am I going to expand processing? I might expand processing a little bit. Um, so as a result, maybe we want over here-ish to be where the drawer system lives. I like that plan. I like that plan. Um, let's move these guys into here, because this is my, that output. This guy can stay an oak chest, and I'll save this iron chest for something better. Um, this stuff needs to be sorted into drawers. So let's start moving our drawers now. Uh, let's clean up this stuff for a minute. I'm just gonna put all this stuff away temporarily. I do want my drawer components though. Uh, and we will need laser IO stuff in a bit because that's gonna be the next thing we work on is, is reorganizing and doing laser IO. Um, yes, so how about over here can be my storage drawers and the controller? I like that plan. Okay. So let's stick the controller like right here and then the drawers can all be to the side of it. Does that sound cool? Does it really matter what order we put things in? Eh, probably not. Hey, it does matter where I put them, though. So how about five tall? Does that sound fair? Yeah, I can reach all the way up there. And then we're going to want some compacting drawers. So how about I come back in a minute once I relocate this stuff? 
I'll tell you what, having carry on makes it a lot easier, as he fails to demonstrate, uh, to rearrange the position of these drawers. If you, like me, decide suddenly, you know what, I don't like the way this is laid out. I do want to, I do want to shuffle it up a bit. I do want to just shuffle it, shuffle it around. Eh. That's pretty cool, right? I like that. Yeah. Looking pretty good. And then maybe you here. What do we got here? I forget what this is. Oh, right, you. Yeah, you can probably live here, and then you can live here. And that looks pretty good to me. So what do we say? We have nine, uh, metals that we need to handle right now. We'll have more in the future, but for now, nine, right? So let's get nine oak drawers. that we can then turn into compacting drawers, which is just gonna be iron, smooth stone, and pistons. So give me a stackish of iron, some redstone, and some smooth stone. And I think I have more smooth stone, even though it's not called smooth stone anymore. Don't get me started. And then uh, our cobble is down here now, which is not a big deal. Cool. I'm liking this, it's starting to feel a little bit better. All right, what am I short on? More cobble? So I want three more of these. Eight. A little shy on the smooth stone. So then we'll want, maybe I want one more just to make it even. Yeah, it should be, yeah, I think that's not a bad idea. Just because I have a, it's, it's columns of five and that would just bug probably me and both of you. Or all of you, or, you know. What I mean is me, both of us. Uh, so I want two pistons. Needs more cobble. One, two, and then this, perfect. All right, now let's get our linking tool. If I put this in multi-mode and I did this, this, and that, linked drawers to controller, beautiful. Put you back in single mode. Make sure that all drawers are locked, boom. Sweet. Okay. Uh, and then I've been kind of going upward, so we did that. No, that's not right. That's not what I want. I would like you to be nuggets, iron nuggets. Yes. Thank you. That's why I clicked here, buddy. Okay. Uh, and then gold would be next. Okay. Uh, and then how about copper, tin? Do we have tin? Yeah, we do. I'm gonna have to put the nuggets in first, I guess. Sweet. Can't you also, there we go. Okay, nickel, sure, and aluminum, we'll put aluminum up there because I don't see myself using aluminum all that often, no offense aluminum, okay, 
Okay, osmium and silver. Sweet. And then you can have that back iron dust, because remember we were processing that before. Uh, Invar's... Do I want to put Invar in here? Eh, I don't think so. I don't think Invar gets to go in the drawer system. I think Invar is its own thing. Right? We should have, like, a miscellaneous resources kind of chest. And that would go there. Can I shift-click you? Because carry-on is totally a... Th oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, cool. Excellent. That makes life a little bit easier. I was like, I thought we had carry-on in here. You know, it's funny. I came over earlier, and I tried to shift-click a chest, and it didn't pick up. So I'm like, oh, we must not have carry-on in the pack. And then I shift-clicked something else later by mistake, and I'm like, wait a minute. I thought we didn't have carry-on in the pack. I guess we do. Okay, and this will remain miscellaneous, junky nonsense for now. Um, I really need a backpack. Would be super cool. Alright, but Envar can live in there for now. And you can get these resources, and that all looks good. Sweet. Alright, now on to the laser IOing of things. Uh, so what we want to do is uh, insert into this guy uh, anything that comes out of here, right? Um, and potentially anything that comes out of here should go into other things. So let's get all that set up. So you and you and you are going to be needed. And probably the filters. Yeah, that should be cool. Everything else should be good. All right, so uh, Mr. Chest, right? Because as things get sieved, let's get a stack of you and a little bit of you, and you guys get to work so we can demonstrate functioning working stuff, right? So you two go here, and then ultimately we're going to want something. Hey, did I break my pickaxe? I guess I did. And then here, right? Cool. So we want this to be an insert, right, of a high priority. All these things, right, priority 10. You up here will also be an insert on white. On the down will be an extract on white, and on this up will be an extract, right? So up, extract. So pull everything out of here. With the highest of priorities, try to put only what I've filtered into the compactor, right? Priority 10. That will get put into here, put into here, put into here, put into here, right? That's the loop. And then here, we want to extract again, eight items at a time, uh, on the down, okay? on the same white channel, right? He will not be allowed in here because they won't be pieces, so they'll wind up over here. Does that sound pretty cool? I think so. All right, so let's get these things linked and see how it works out. So you're gonna link up to that dude, and uh, I'd like him to link underground a little bit, but I think that that's too far. That's gotta be too far, right? Yeah, maximum range of eight. But I can get a connector real quick. That should be doable. Okay. Maybe having a crafting table over here wouldn't be a terrible idea either, by the way. I like that plan. Okay. So what if you're linked like so? And we did you to you. Eh, you're a little bit off, but that's okay. And then connect up to that dude. And that should have everybody going now. Look, see? Everything's clearing out of this chest. Because it's all going into there. 
and then you're doing your thing, and this chest should also be emptying. Nice, right? How cool is that? Hundred and thirty two gold. You're probably gonna do a little bit of gold next, so a little bit of silver, a little bit of gold. There we go. Eight at a time. Beautiful. Look at that go. Sweet. And it skipped the smooth stone because it doesn't have anywhere to store smooth stone. Alright, so that's pretty well structured, I would say. Um now it might not be a bad idea to make a smooth stone drawer. Kind of like that thought. Uh, how are you guys? Boop, 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 boop. Quest completed, iron chest. Woo! Oh, probably because I in place upgraded it. I'm like, I've had that chest for a while. Why you just go? Oh, right. Probably just upgraded it. Um, let's put away some of this stuff for the time being. I should probably make a drawer for nether wart. Uh, and maybe a drawer for... Um, so let's do this. Do we have any more wood? Uh, we might be low. Luckily, that's easy to solve. Okay. So you two go there. This, this can go away. What I'm thinking is we could have, like... These guys chilling like that. And then uh, this could be like some kind of miscellaneous -y kind of nonsense over here. So like you can go in there and you can go in there. So if you were to smelt that, he should get pulled out there. And if you were to sieve this, that should get pulled out there. Perfect. All right. How's that? Much cleaner looking, right? I like it. How are you doing? Should I get dirt in here too? Maybe. Maybe. The more I'm looking at it, the more I want things covered. Let's let's fill in this mess over here. Clean up some of the mess that I've been making. Getting there. Getting a little bit cleaner looking, right? Okay. Uh, one more drawer doable. For dirt, maybe? Now, I don't want to really do the carry-on thing here, so I'm going to delink you. All right. Uh, swapped to multiple, swapped to single. How do we change this to remove? There you go. Right-click without sneaking. I was hesitant to... Um, there we go. That'll be cool. And then you. And then locked. And then added. And then added. Uh, I was hesitant to carry on move a drawer that was linked to a controller. I had no idea how that would... It might not hurt. It might not be good. I don't know. Alright, so you're going to be my tech chest for now. So all tech related things can go in there. That looks pretty cool. I'm liking it. Okay. That's technically tech. All right. And I'll probably rearrange this thing a little bit. Only because he's kind of in a way. I might move these guys over to here. That might be smart, the witch water. I can move it into the corner. Yeah, we should do that. Getting mycelium moved over shouldn't be hard, right? Yeah, I can just get a little bit of dirt. And my watering can. So if I wanted that three by three to live here, for example, If I just did this, the mycelium should spread into that area. 
in theory. Yep, there it goes. Nice. That's pretty cool. All right, let me move this off camera. All right, looking pretty good. Almost there. Let's go. Nice. All right, and then you. All right, that for that, and then you are going to be the whoops, chest guy who will handle this, 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 extract, extract, cool. Okay, and then uh, sweet. Okay, and then you guys can all be moved. How clean is this, huh? Okay, then the chest can go here, and then you're gonna be bound, so I need to borrow my laser wrench. Technically this frees up this dude, so I can have one more here. Uh, well, technically, I probably don't want that just yet. All right, so on the down, you will have these guys. On the down, you will have these guys. And on the down, you will have these guys. Right? Oh, wait, that's the stock, this guy. Yeah, but let's reverse them just so that it matches the pattern we did everywhere else. Cool. And then you will get the extract in the stock. Okay. Sweet, right? How cool is that? Okay. And now, if we snagged a little bit of sand, we'll just validate that this is behaving itself. Wow, I can't click today. All right, so I think that's probably a good wrapping up point for this episode, right? So let's see. Are you working? Yes. Boom, 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 boom. Everybody behaving. Perfect. All right, wrapping up point. Daryl 20 signed off. Hope you enjoyed it. A little bit of restructuring today, but I think overall it looks really good. I can probably move this down into the basement a little bit more so that he's kind of less in my way. And look at how much nicer this base is looking, huh? I think it looks really good, actually. Uh, this will make it so that going forward, we can do a lot of awesome stuff. For now, though, it's wrapping up point, so Daryl 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, next episode, we'll get into mechanism. For now, take it easy.